okay it seems like i'm live i think i'm live hopefully i'm live hey everyone welcome welcome back here to my channel where i play planet zoo my name is nisa and i'm trying to get shit to work here it doesn't always happen seems like i actually am live so that's wonderful uh i took a few days off my computer and off youtube and off steam and off everything and um there came a new trailer uh because i'm wonderful at that uh i had good reasons for doing it, so I, i've been working on getting outside people who've been here for a while know i uh, suffer with severe anxiety haven't been able to get outside a few weeks ago i managed to actually get outside and write in yesterday i managed to be out there for 10 minutes without totally panicking so that's great uh but it takes some energy so i chose not to be on my computer at all just to relax get my mind straight again um so i didn't see this um but oh i'm shaking here um we have a new trailer and um yeah i hope i have set things up right the thing is again um i had computer issues and i didn't set up the live part for this channel uh, since so if anything's missing i don't have the intro i don't have the outro i just have what i have and we have to go with that um i'm sorry uh, <laughs> i'm confused here uh yeah uh, i'm gonna see the trailer first i will try not to speak just see it and then we will go back and go through it maybe we'll go back and see some of the um free update stuff also go through that uh, I have looked at it very lightly, but not anything like that at all. Um, so yeah, we have a few people in here. Again, uh, live chat, I try to keep my eye on it. I'm not professional, but I try my very, very best. So you, are, of course, welcome to say hello and hi. And I don't even have a drink today because I was just like, oh, trailer, makeup on, let's get going. And I'm just, yeah. So I kind of try to start it with if the sound is too high or too low, please tell me. I will try when we go through it second time. I will try to remember to pause it every time I talk because I talk a lot. <laughs> so welcome. Can I please get like half an hour more of that, please? Okay, I saw two animals like really close. Um, let let's get to it again. Of course, here yeah, we already have some foliage. These are new. These are uh, I think they are uh, carnivorous plants. Plants that eat uh meat. Um. Normally insect, but they can also, some of them can eat bigger things. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the same as the one over here. As you can see, the leaves look the same and the hangy duty looks the same. Uh, but this looks like it hangs from a tree and this, it may be the same tree. So you have this under Sam and then something higher up hanging. That is a possibility. Uh, these, I think, is the ones we have in the game i would like to have some that were bended so they actually would fit nicer on a, a vine not sure about that and i actually do think this vine is longer than the ones we have i think we have six meters eight meters and 12 meters in the game currently i think i'm not sure about that rocks we have mist we have i would love if we get a bit of mist system, but we do have mist and they do work. Um, we have some trees that are, do have this kind of knobbing in between each other's, uh, but there's no like greenish on it down here, so that could be new or it can be some greenish that you can add to other trees. 
that part there i'm not sure about i think it's placed behind this so it's knocked off uh it could just be a palm tree it could uh we have something going on back there this bush seems very new also um Again, these leaves also seems new, but it could be a part of a bigger thing once again. We also have something red here, but it doesn't seem to be the same red color as there, unless we have a lot of mist in front of it. That is a possibility. So, uh, yeah. Yes, it is a palm tree. <laughs> oh, 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 Bob. I, uh. I just fell in love, so I just need to. If this is one big tree, I'm in love. But it seems to be very, very, very tall. And that's the issue with Zeus, because Zeus will have things that grow fast. They don't have, like, you can't import a tree this size. You need to grow it, and it would take, like, a hundred years for it to be that big. So that would, like, Zeus wise become an issue. But if you want to make a nature, nature area, that, then it could be. Okay, I assume this is the La Gibbon. We will look at the text afterwards where it's probably going to say it. It reminds me of the Lar Gibbon, which we have as a mud, which means that mud will become invalid. It will be outdated. It will be taken off. Uh, because the mudders have most respect for the animals from the game, they may make a... Um, they may make a... I'm just trying to make the texture here nicer. That was much nicer, I think. Um, the mothers may want to make a remaster afterwards, but the new animal mud will not exist anymore. Uh, I'm not sure it's the Lark Gaben, but I think it is. Um, I'm not too crazy about the texture either. Can I make it even nicer? Let me try. Okay, we are way above 1080p at this point, and it doesn't look nicer than that. That does terrify me a little. I think these plants, however, are new. Um, I will say with the animals, we will never know before we get them in the game. Again, it could also be cinematics. It says here in the button, uh, in-game footage, trailer, content, rate, paid content. Okay, so it is actually in-game footage, but again, we cannot see it any better than this before we have it in the game. And again, it will differ from my computer to your computer to everyone else's computer. But for now, it's just the fur fluffiness down here looks weird. Uh, the one toe looks really clamped there. Uh, I do like the muscles here. Most monkeys and apes have really pronounced muscles uh, but it is on some of the animals and plants who a little washed out here it re is really well done if you ask me uh, these looks like the stones from the game but again we have a lot of plants in here which seems to be completely different from what, what we have so it seems like when we got the grasslands pack we got a lot of grasses here it seems like we get a lot of tropical plants and I'm here for it again the in some uh, regions, there's no tropical flowers at all to use. Now, these are probably plants or bushes and not flowers, but I hope they will show something up. We also have, it's hard to see if that is the sun or if that is one giant leaf plant. Uh, the texture of this palm looks a little different up here. It does look very much like uh, something I already have, but down here, it doesn't uh the trees up there i think is something we have these thingies i think is new both these and these i hope this thingy on top is something on its own so you can add it or check it off using it in a different way i don't hope it's one big thingy um the same with the thing here i really hope that's something you can take off or add whether you want it or not because i think that would be a really really not universal thing, but it would be something you could use in a lot of different ways. 
We also have the parasols down here. We have a new couch. Yeah, that's a couch. That's not a bench, but we have it. Um, if you ask me, I would say that this is more yellow than this. So maybe it is flexi colored. It's not a big difference, but you can see here the orange color to the yellow color. It is a bit of a different and it, maybe it's on purpose and maybe it's not, but that's how I see it. Also up here, we have something completely new. And once again, I hope it's pieces and not one big thing. However, no in Frontier, it might be one big thing. Okay, I just say that movement looks so much better than on these than it does on those climbing things we got last. Uh, the climbing things like the middle climbing frame there, it's more normal it's more natural it's more what you see in the zoo but this looks better because it also because it kind of hides some of the hands um but if if the animation isn't perfect and it's a little off to the left or off to the right it will be hit better within this oh sorry i was just the music they changed the music it feels like Okay, we're just going to zoom all the way out here. There. Oh. There we go. Okay, again, new buildings. These looks... I'm not sure, but I think they look Asian to me. I would be sad if we get a tropical pack with animal from... All over the world, tropical. Again, tropical can mean two things. I actually forgot to say that in the start. Frontier have so far uh, used tropical as a biome. Tropical is not a biome. Tropical is, in fact, a climate zone. Climate zone is we have the tropical, we have the temperate, we have the cold, we have the... Uh, it's not called tundra, it is called something different, like the ultra cold. Uh, where in a tropical climate zone, you can still have multiple biomes, which could be aquatic. So uh, they are not called aquatics. Um, sorry, marine, um, lakes. You could even have a tropical uh grassland area. You can have a lot of tropical things. So far, I feel very much it's like they think of the tropical forest. Specific, but for forest is a biome, tropical is a climate, climate zone. So it's, ah, oh, it's pulling me a little apart here. Um, but it's a beef I have had with Frontier for quite some while. These trees we have, these we have, these I think we have. A lot of the tall trees, I don't know what they look like because again, they are really difficult to use in a manner where it would make sense unless you already place in a tropical place where they could already have been there. Um, I think we have these two. I think that one's new. Yeah, all of the building, of course. The path, I also think, is new. I'm not a big fan of it. It looks good for this. It looks good with this. It's not like it looks bad. I do just don't see it as a texture I would like to use. I do like that it's worn down. You can see all of the green pow, uh, mushy patches on it, but I hope it's something you can change. Again, the more you can change about things, flexi color and so on, the more uh, real it becomes. Uh, in a tropical forest, yes, it would make sense to have all of these uh, especially around the water, it could be algae or moss or something else in between that. Um, but yeah, we also have some plants up here that looks new. I think that's just the rocks, tropical rocks. I want new rocks. I want more diverse rocks. I want smaller rocks. But uh, then down there, I cannot see what it is, but it's there. <laughs> Again, the couch and the couch. Um, and more couches, trash can. I think that's the trash can. I'm not sure what, what that is. I do not assume that we get two trash cans. And this actually looks like a bigger one of these. This 
snaky thingy here. I kind of want to see from a different angle, but we do not have it here. Yeah, there, but it's not a better angle. Um, over here, I think that's actually something we had in before, but I'm not sure it's been flexi-colored before. Uh, this, I really hope, is flexi-colored or else it will really limit the building. Uh, but I do like the different shape of rooms, and I would actually love if we could get these shapes more diverse. Um, but I assume it's only like this piece. Um, <laughs> that one we already had. I cannot see if the water seems different, like the lines in it looks different, but I think you can manage that just by changing color and uh, opac opacity, opacity, that word. <laughs> um, and again, the same flower here, it looks again more pale and not as red as it did before. So that's interesting. Let's see. Shit, I got a shark. Uh, that didn't really show me anything new. We did get a little close of some of the things. It looks like it's kind of have a bird beak, which I'm not here for. But <laughs> again, I think this personalities of Planet Zoo builders are really, really diverse. So I'm not mad at it. It's just not for me. Ooh, ooh. Okay, first of all, we have a thing here. I I know, but I have a thing here. Uh, I don't hope this is the statue. Like design. I do hope I want to get this, but I don't hope all of the animals come in this design. I would love the statues if they just have kept the same goddamn design so you could keep the same design in the same. Even now, if they make a tropical pack with tropical animals from multiple places around the world, it will still give us issues because you cannot have a statue for every animal you have in a tropical South American area just to say something, then some of the tropical animals will look different statue-wise than others, so you cannot do that. Uh, and that's kind of ticking me off. Uh, I do like these. I don't think I'm going to use them a hell of a lot, but I do like them. Bamboo seems like the things we already have. In here, it actually looks a little bit like a capybara. It isn't. It clearly is, and we already have that. They could be frustrating enough that they gave us the lesser capybara, but it doesn't look like this. Um, I do think also because of this, this is some kind of piggy, I guess. This also frustrates me a little because if I didn't know any better, I would say Komodo dragon, which we have. So it could be some kind other kind of dragon. Um, but again, we need to see it above water because the water changes the color a little bit. But for now, it actually looks very much like a copy paste. Again, the color setting is at least right. Again, a lot of these. Dragons and um, Liguana um, monitors and such. They have claws that doesn't go out like this. Not like us. They go in like this so they can have flat feet and still grab things. And they do manage to do that really nice here. It's something some of the mothers sometimes forget. But Frontier is on point with that. Which they should be. But again... <laughs> Oh, I actually think some of the roots down here is different from the ones we have. I think that may be new. I don't like that specific piece there. It looks flat one color, but over here it looks good. Uh, we may also get some new... This kind of looks like the grass texture underwater because it's not any of the uh, underwater plants that we have in the game. Okay, so we get a... Uh, What's it called in English? 
Anyway, I love it. I love it. I have actually have a teddy of those. I, I can't show you because it's out in my car. It's pink. It's very cute. And it's called Sleepy. Um, as you know, I love my teddy bears or my plushies. Uh, we have the little fella down here once again. But it doesn't make it easier to see. Here again, we have these plants, but we don't have the open thingy, the hingy thingy under it. Um, but here it actually seems like it's climbing on the building. If the rest of the tree is inside the building, that is a possibility. Um, and I think these walls are also new. Not completely sure, but I think. Uh, I think the rest of the backgrounds are older things or things we already talked about. These ones I'm not sure about if because I have something that looks like it, but I think that is from the... Um, from a mud so so that's maybe new also this seems new i think and once again these we have talked about so. okay <laughs> there yeah again this looks nice again i hope these are all single pieces so we can even the door frame, I hope that's single pieces because they look cute. I also think they are because of the way they go into each other here. It looks a little off. I think if you had made it as one piece, it would look better. To be honest, sorry, but uh, that's yeah. And then we have some of these. I love these. Again, we're gonna have much more green suits, which I like. These, I think it's the first time we actually have been able to see something around texture and i do love them very much again we have the mushy mushy over here uh and it looks like it's on the clay um yeah is that as uh, not a stair a ladder sorry it's because it's the same word in danish uh ladder back there can't, can't guess start climbing ladders that would be amazing okay again we have the gibbons i'm thinking like gibbons, but i'm not sure these looks funny i i don't know if i like them or not they just look funny but i think when you start building with them you will get a better feel of that um the red ones here we have. I haven't seen any flowers. I have only seen plants, which, again, tropical. I would love to have some more colorful flowers. Just, I would love to. Um, yeah, it actually looks like this texture is completely different than this texture, even though I did think earlier it was the same thing. So it may be different things, or again, you can change that. That would be amazing. And once again, we have the big red flower back down there, but I'm not even sure that's a flower that could also be a can carnivorous plant. Um, once again, this looks beautiful, but it doesn't look so to me. It looks more like like in the wild, and that may be what Planet Zoo is going for at this point. And that's okay. It's okay. I'm not mad at it. It's just can we just clarify what game this is? This specific piece actually also seem new. And I think that's all. Okay. In case this is actually gameplay on a average computer, not a super computer, not a bad computer, average computer, then it actually looks real good. Again, we have some puff pieces here. We have a little bit here uh, but that's also in shadow which also affected um but overall it looks good again front here the last two or three packs have really stopped up that game with textures of fur and the fluffiness issues is becoming smaller um we have a little you can see the skin ends here and then you can see where the fur go on top of that that's a very really small issue. I wouldn't mention it if it was a mod, but because it is from T.S. own animal, then I'm not mad at it. Uh, I haven't seen them make any really cartoon animals, weird animals this time around, but maybe they learned with the hyena last time. 
Um, again, I'm intrigued by these, but I don't know exactly what to do with them. So that's something we have to figure out. Um, the flowers down here on the water is flowers we already have. And again, it's things we have talked about. Hmm. They do did get they did get the hands real good. And that may have affected why one of them looked squeezed, because if the white were screwing around a little bit, that would affect how it looked in the movement. Um I don't remember if Largimpins or one of those where it's gendered the color or if it's both males and females. I think the males are black, but I'm not sure. Yes, uh, coming April 14th, sorry, 4th. And that's why can't I open my calendar right now? That's weird. Then I need to do it on my phone. I assume that's Tuesday. It's normally is. Yes, it's Tuesday. So we have like 10 days or so to prepare for that. So that's that's fine. That's not an issue at all. Um, Once again. It didn't blow me away, but I think at this point, my standard was just really high. I'm not mad at it. It's just, it was kind of as expected. I really try not to expect like what I want in a pack because then I will get disappointed. Um, When I saw Tropical, I thought, Tropical birds! No, no, no. And I got that out of my head before I sat down here because I knew like they're not gonna make a tropical with two birds. They're not gonna do that. Um, I ho do hope though we get one small birds that would be like the like the enclosure one. That one. Uh, anyway. Uh, okay, it's also say fourteen and the free update thirteen. Uh, venture through the depths of the tropical rain fronies and take a look at the new friends heading your way. Keep a keen eye up for the trees and you'll spot the lark gibbon. L I was right. Leaping between the both something, or maybe you'll see the. Okay, okay, we one animal at a time, Lar Gimmon, because I wanted me I, I wanted to show you. I like when we just sorry. <laughs> uh take a look at them. Lar Gibbon. And here you can see I think the most common color is this one and then the younger ones are more orangey. Uh that's what I I've seen this far. I do not have a specific uh, thing about them. I don't think I have seen them. However, these teddy bears I've seen every time I go to a zoo. Um, yeah. They are very cute. Their faces are very cute. Um... So yeah, that's that's the Lar Gibbon. It's just because of, no, not everyone have an idea when we say like Lar Gibbon or other kinds of Gibbon or like what is a Gibbon? Gibbons are most like mostly these very long limbed monkeys. I think they are monkey species. We got I the, we're gonna take that later. I'm gonna make a video on every one of these. Maybe a short, maybe a video. I'm not sure, but. Do not make this video way too long. We have to move forward. Uh, or maybe you even see the Fusa asleep up in the branches of the tree. Fusa, I think we know since we all saw uh, the penguins of Madagascar or animals of Madagascar or something. But we're going to take it. Fusa. <laughs> yeah. Madagascar. It shows up right here. Uh, anyway, it is this. It's 
as far as I remember, it's not a cat. It's not a dog. It's not like it's its own thing. It's native to Madagascar specifically, and they're one of them mean. Again, we have a lot of things here that's not the Vusa. Um, they're just beautiful. You cannot see that, can you? I can. I like this. Um, they are quite beautiful, and they have this kind of mousy face, and they are actually closely related to, or more closely related to, a lot of the lemurs, for instance, than they are to the of uh, cats around the world um so yeah they are very cute but they are the biggest carnivore over there and probably wouldn't survive anywhere else in the world because they would be bigger better carnivores but for madagascar they are the biggest um if you head down to the water there are some new trends to be found too such as the asian water monitor Yes. I'm gonna look at that. Monitor lizard. <laughs> Just monitor. As you can see, it does remind you very much of the Komodo dragon. Uh, I think it's smaller. I'm pretty sure the Komodo dragon is the biggest one. Now, this is a baby, so you can't count on that. Uh, but you may count on that. I think it's person in there. Um, they are beautiful. Um, again, I think more, uh, sorry, um, Asian Water Monitor is one of those that keep growing through most of their life. Uh, most uh, monitors do that. Uh, so it and and spiders actually do the same. So so it's more a question on when they get killed, how big they get. Um, but again, beautiful animal. I do wonder, because we didn't see the bag that well, if they get all of these beautiful markings, because that is more so what would tell them apart from the Komodo dragon. Uh, I also wonder if they actually can be in the same habitat. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, this must be Asian, but I'm not sure where else in the world. I think the lower gibbon is from South America. Uh, sliding down the river and look there at the edge of the swamp is the Red River Hawk. That must be the little thingy we couldn't really see. Red River Hawk. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, that's cute. Well, this is, of course, La Baby. But we had these uh, also as a mod, I think. I'm pretty sure I looked at that. They have this beautiful white stripe. And I'm sorry, I don't want to offend anyone. But the face mostly looks like one of these native um, African masks. Um, with this drawing of black and white, they are quite beautiful. And of course, they are a pig, so some people will love them and some people will hate them. So that's how it is. But the color is magnificent, and I'm looking forward to that. They also have this hairy thing to them where they have not, they don't have a fur, like, like thick fur, like most animals they have, like. You can see the skin, and then they have these really, really thin strands of hair far in between, so you still can see the, the skin through it, which, again, is something that I'm really looking forward to see how well uh, Frontier did. Um, Let's see. Basking in the sun. It looks like it's having a great time. Last but not least, we could, couldn't forget our new walkthrough exhibit mammal, the brown throated sloth. Okay, that's why is that gonna be an exhibit? Is that a really small sloth? Yeah, I'm not sure if, yeah, I didn't count the toes. Um, I wouldn't say that it's, 
Why is that a exhibit animal? Well, if that's the size, then I understand. Um, I just, yeah, I'd never seen a sloth in real life. Um, so I have no idea how big or small it is. Um, <laughs> But again, uh, sloths have tendency of appearing green because all of these algae that just grows on them. Uh, but they are most of the species are actually brown. Uh, I hope we have a picture of them in here somewhere. Uh, so that's not a lot of animals. One, two, three, four, five animals. So it's gonna be a prop pack. Uh, They'll be sure to slowly climb their way into your guest hearts. Yeah. Oh, and we have three colors. I only saw the black and the light one. We also have a brown one. Interesting. Um, I would like to see their babies, but it doesn't seem that they are here. Mm hmm. Along since this, you will get a range of new scenery items, climbing, agricult. Sorry. Architectural pieces inspired by places across Southeast Asia. The tropical foliage, such as the. Yes, these plants. Yeah. I assume that's some of the plants we looked at. Continue our ongoing story in the Planetsu career scenario. As Tiffany has gotten herself into another pickle. This time Tiffany's dad bought her a zoo at auction and left it to her to fix up. And she hired both Dominic Myers and yourself to help her do so. Oh no, can you help her turn the place around? And that is Myers really up to? Can he be trusted? Probably not. Anyway, I'm probably not gonna play that, but I do see something flexi colored here. I'm not sure if these are gonna. At this pace, I feel like this whole thing is one thing. And I don't hope so. I hope this is pieces. But at this rate, I think it's one big thing. Um, okay. The plan to tropical pack. But at the, again, it's a tropical pack. Tropical. And then they say all, all of the building pieces will be for Southeast Asia. But why? Why? That's taking me off a little bit. Probable pack will be available for purchase, blah, 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 on Steam. Nah, 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 nah. Head over to our social media. Join us for... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we are here. Well, that only took like more than half an hour. Uh, but okay. We will get the new update along with. Remember the new update can crash some mods, I think. The idea of Eximod is that they don't crash. I am going to, and that's me personally, I'm going to remove all mods and then add them in slowly once again to make sure nothing crashes. I assume they won't, but just in case something goes wrong, I have my bag free. So you can do what you want. That's what I'm going to do. Uh... Animal sociality. Oh yeah, and, and especially in the downloading of new things process, if you have something somewhere where it shouldn't be, I'm not sure if something can go wrong that way. So no matter what, I, I again, just, I'm gonna pu pull them out. I'm not gonna delete them from my computer. I'm just gonna pull them out, put them in another folder, and then just add them in a few at the time. If my game then crashes when I started then i know something's wrong and one of those mud in that batch that i put in 
is the issue instead of me just installing a new game on top of mods that may crash it. If that makes sense. Uh, that's what I have found out works best for me. But again, if you have another way of doing so, I won't force you to do anything. Uh, and uh, we get animal sociality. Oh, and these things are the free updates, so you don't need to buy the DLCs to get this. Uh, a new animal interaction medic mechanic is making its way to plan to introduce an Animal sociality. This feature aims to bring a more like lifelike approach to the introduction of new animals into your existing habitats. And to provide clarity when and why overcrowding issues happen. This will not change how to manage your animals but is instead an overhaul on how we communicate this to you and how the animals engage within their group relations. So can they, they start bullying each other if there's too many, I guess? All animals will now have an additional definition, definition in their superior interest, solidarity, match Matrilineal, patrilineal, gregarious. This will let you know how they engage with their offspring. New animals that are introduced to a habitat and juveniles that are that mature will be marked as outsiders. If they exceed the gender or population limit of a habitat, if they are rejected due to their relationship with the group alpha, i.e. a male in a matriar matrilineal group, or if the, their parents are present when they are a solitary species. This will maintain a more stable existing population and reduce inflicting um, most amongst existing animals. Instead, having their group together to target the new outliner and continue to fight until they are removed okay so instead of just they they start fighting within the group they just all gang on up on the new one uh yeah <laughs> other situation blah, 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 uh, causing them to be deemed an outsider is improved outsiders will also be rejected and unable to partake in group dynamics such as mating, social interaction, and playing, thus creating a more realistic experience and helping stop further overpopulation issues and in interbreeding. That's great. So if you forget to pause and go and grab a snack, you won't come back to 30 plus unintentional new offspring but well, that's kind of great but but still can we please just get the same thing with we have with the exhibit boxes please can we please <laughs> however some groups were co where coexistence wouldn't have been possible without aggression such as habitats with an unbalanced gender ratio may now be able to be formed if the members have developed a bond prior to maturing. I guess that's babies born here. Socially, sociality will show you which animals have become bonded. Bonded animals what just happened? 
Okay, I think I'm live. I, I hope I'm live. I hope things are happening. Uh, for example, it can all allow for more than one meal to remain in a matrilineal society. The Alpha Lion's brother being able to remain within the pride. Yes! Thank you! Because that's something that we have had issues with a lot. Uh, where it happens in the wild and it happens here. Thank you. Um, furthermore, in some species, the alpha male or female tends to lead the group but doesn't claim exclusive mating rights. These leaders will be marked with a crown in the info panel replacing the alpha symbol so that whatever claim they have is it is clear who they are within the group and so that players can be aware of their reproductive role. For instance, um, elephants have one alpha female. She's the one that control the pride but all of the females do meet so that makes sense uh the outsider relationship can be lost once an animal is removed from the habitat and time has passed allowing the relationship to decay after this an animal can be re reintroduced to a group as if they never met before. So so you have to take them out and wait until they can come back in. That's gonna be frustrating game-wise, but it does make sense, like, animal nature-wise. Uh, but unless the habitat has changed, the gender ratio is now balanced, uh, the animal may still be rejected and become an outsider once more. However, if all conditions are that are causing an animal to be deemed an outsider become invalid, it will enter an integration period, after which it will be fully integrated, integrated, and accepted by the existing group. This can happen if the gender and population limits are balanced again, or if the animals is no longer impacted by the alpha of the group. The type of outsider an animal will be displayed within the info panel, so you will know the cause and be able to appropriate many steps from here there this pa panel will also display the time left in the integration period uh, should your animal into one so you can buy new animals that they just can't get into the fucking group great okay no paths ever wanted to have a hidden completely natural path thank you or to style your own via decoration item. Thank you. We know you have, and now you can introduce your null paths. But the important part here is, if it is lifted off the ground, will it then be invisible? That's the thing I want to know. This airplane, the curbs on ground paths, to get toggle on any natural path will now create a null path, an invisible path that allows guests to and staff to walk across seemingly unmarked terrain. This path will fu function the same way as other paths, meaning the terrain cannot be deformed around. Nor can facilities or similar be placed on them. 
but they will only show an outline when selected for building purposes and can be customized beyond that to your heart's consent. Similar to no barriers, any build mode will now have a setting drop down to highlight hidden path. This is enabled by default but can be toggled as necessary for those who really go in the in their building. Okay. Mul sorry. I needed something to drink I knew. Uh anyway, multi axis advanced movement. Another improvement coming for all of our builders is a additional to your advanced movement options, multi-axis movement. N until now, when moving object, you have had to pan it axis, each axis individual to reach the exact placement you want. Now you are in a building mode and additional handle has been added between each of the axis arrows. These handles can be selected to move any assist freely across two axes at once. Forward, backwards and left, right while remaining locked position up and down. That's gonna be useful. This show should make building easier than ever. Well, can we also get a multi grid, please? So we can have multiple grids in there. No, okay. A climbable asset toggle. Ever created a build that you're really happy with, but then you're on pause and oh no some of your assets are climbable and now your animals keep escaping <laughs> yeah this is no longer an issue with in the introduction of the climbable asset toggle yay i asked for this a year ago i think i just got the game it was one of the first things i wanted and it's here and i love it um any object that are climbable can now have the climbable Climbing function toggle on and off. I would like also to be able to add it to other things, but okay, we take it from there. This selection is also available for groups and multi selections, allowing you to toggle large amount of asset at once. So if you just have a building and you forgot it, then you can click the building and done. That's gonna be amazing. This will allow you to customize what animals are able to climb on. Therefore, restricting that what they can scale and stopping them from being able to escape from undesired area, undesired areas. When looking at the animals travel traversable. Yes, areas. Uh, disabling climbing assets will be highlighted in black, whereas enable climbing assets will be highlighted at, in green. This will be particularly useful for things like custom barriers for, or for creating more comprehensive climbing frames in which selection of it are maintained as purely decorative without destruction the rest of the frame. As always, these exciting new features will come alongside the range, a range of fixes and quality of life improvement, which also can read in the patch notes after release. Well, that part is not new, and it will come in probably the same time as the DLC. So, yeah, that's going to be amazing. 
I th- I think that's going to do a lot. Uh again the highlight of today were of course the new trailer. I I get frustrating with all of this like half the video is just nothing. Um just going to click here to see because I missed that last last time. Have it clicked. Click here. <sighs> okay. That was okay, and we of course have the same video once again. That wasn't what I wanted. There we go. Okay, so here again we have some... Yeah, it's the same plants we already seen. We have some mulch down here that I'm not sure if it's new or not. But what I am intrigued by is the small stones here. They look good. I hope they're new and not just pulled down in the ground. Uh, but the way the mulch works around the path, that's interesting for me. Um, oh, it could actually just be the tropical and then there's drawn sand. It could be. That vine is definitely new alongside with these. Interesting. Then we have the same here. We have looked at that. I've seen that. Oh, the piggies. Uh. I already forgot the name. Um, Hawks. Um, but they're cute. And the babies, of course, have these colors. I'm going to go more in step around the animals in their individual video. Um, I'm going to start putting them up na- next week, probably. I- I'd rather take my time and do it properly. So, yeah. And the plants, these plants we have looked at. Again, I'm not sure if this one actually is new. Um, I want all of these pieces individually. Individual pieces, please. Um, this is kind of funny. <laughs> um, but that's actually what they were there. I don't think there's anything else. This is most likely the same things. Um, more than 200 decoration. This is just in Danish. I'm sorry about that. Um, but it's basically the same information. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. That's Planet Zeus, next DLC. Okay, that sounded highly like I, I didn't like it. I'm gonna do my intro and I'm gonna do it, uh, outro, sorry, and I'm gonna do it this way. So, guys, as always, you know this real. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell of notifications so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, sorry. Ah, button. Bye.